horses are on the track for the fourth race of the day at the Illinois State Fair. Win, play, show, exact a trifecta wagering the top line stake. Pacing Phillies and mares, age three and older. Number one is Proven. Owned by Ferguson Stable Incorporated, Ron Smigelski and Richard and Ruth Suda, all of Illinois. Trained by Jim Ferguson, Michael Cox will drive. Two, Nice and Big, owned by Mary Lee Jeffers of Flat Rock. John David Finn, the trainer driver. Number three, Taciturn, owned and trained by Richard Crum of Rushville, but Mike Brink is the driver. Number four, Sadie Sarnell, owned by Mary Alice and Tom Tietrich of Jeff, trained and driven by Tom Tietrich. Number five, Darby Girl, owned by Derek and Sheila Weatherall of Urbana, by Bart Seals of Mason, trained by Derek Weatherall, the driver, Tom Simmons. Number six, Illini Franny, owned by Mary Holly of Kell, trained by Mark Holly, the driver, is Tony Morgan. Number seven is Silky Sis, owned by Jim Austin of Lincoln. He is the trainer. Dave Fagan is in the bike. Number eight, Too Quick, owned by Rob and Dorothy Anderson of Bennett, Colorado. Rob Anderson, the trainer and the driver. And number nine, Madeline, is a scratch. They're an eighth of a mile from the start. The top line for Three and up, fillies and mares, here they come. They're off and pacing, too quick, being sent for the lead along with Illini Franny. Nice and big is there to the inside of that pair. Tassa turn between horses and Proven down toward the rail. As the field moves on to the first turn, Michael Cox will send Proven up the inside for the lead. Illini Franny will try to drop in and find cover second. She will do just that. Nice and big goes third, followed by Tassa Turn. Sadie Sarnell toward the inside is seven lengths off the early lead. Too Quick is outside of her. They're followed by Darby Girl and Silky Sis is last. 29 and one for the opening quarter. Proven leads them on to the back stretch now with Illini Franny racing in the second spot. The shuffle is on for third. There goes Too Quick taking the third spot, but she's still parked after the opening three-eighths of a mile. Nice and big is fourth. Sadie Sarnell moving up on the outside from fifth, just four lengths off the lead, and she does have cover. Then comes Taciturn back toward the inside. Darby Girl and Silky Sis off the half in 59 and three-fifths seconds. They're being led by Proven by two lengths. Illini Franny second by two. Too Quick is third by a neck outside of Nice and Big. Sadie Sarnell is in behind that duo now. Then Tassa turn, Darby Girl and Silky Sis midway on the far turn. It is still Proven who's on top. Illini Franny moves to the outside from second now. Too Quick has gone a tough journey, parked all the way in third. But up front, the battle for the lead is on. Illini Franny outside of Proven, three quarters and 129. Moving off the turn, Proven leads it by a neck. Illini Franny is driving to get her. Racing past the eighth pole, here's Illini Franny snagging the lead and opening up by four lengths in the stretch. Proven a second, Sadie Sarnell is coming late from third. Into the final 16th, it is Illini Franny by six lengths, and Illini Franny is going to win it by five lengths. Sadie Sarnell was second, Proven was third, the mile in one minute, 57 seconds flat. His fourth winner of the week, Tony Morgan. Result is now official, Illini Franny, a four-year-old Napatross filly. Phyllis Whiteside making the trophy presentation for the top line stakes. Again, she has assisted Secretary Treasurer Mike Murphy with the top line responsibilities for some 30 years. Mark Holly is the winning owner trainer of this Napatross filly. He hails from downstate Kell, Illinois, not far from Salem. The winner bred by the University of Illinois.